Hey guys, Les here from my event rental shop in Canada. And today is a factory, factory, more like a shop, uh, the bay. This is an industrial bay, whatever you want to call it, but it is the updated tour. I did give a brief tour or two, maybe a six months, a year after we started. Uh, and that wasn't too long ago, really. I mean, a couple of years ago since we started this business, since we started renting. And uh, maybe I'll, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description, but don't worry about it too much. This is the updated tour, so this is more interesting. And it's because someone the other day was saying, hey, this shop has changed so much. To me, it really hasn't. It's kind of the same thing. And that's just because we see it every day. So we don't really see the changes. But I suppose to someone that was there at the beginning, to someone that is here now, um, a lot has changed. So let's start at the back here. I'm not gonna show you absolutely everything, but it'll give you kind of a general idea, uh, maybe give you some ideas if, if you're looking to transition to a commercial space in the future. Um, so that's the back. You can see there's a camera there. There's a camera there. We have a full security system. Now we did not have a full security system prior. Um, uh, I have some stuff to bring home, mostly just cutlery and stuff like that. Uh, some blankets from my son when he was here. Oh, lots of cool things. That's a little nook. So that's the exit. Let me just go as far back as I can. That's the, the exit we have. And right here, there's tons of things. Kind of really handy, really close by when you need them. Because at the back here, there's a wide open space to, uh, to kind of receive returns. And uh, right over here are, is a little nook. So we kind of have these really items that you, we use a lot. Tape gun, cleaning materials, bucket for cleaning, uh, some uh, furniture wrap, tie straps, garbage, more plugins, uh, extra wall wires, uh, random baseball cap, uh, old uh, used rags, uh, uh, notepad, and just things that you use a lot, you know, right at the back here, right at the area, just so you can, uh, you know, put things here, clean it really quickly, organize it and move it into its proper uh, location. Um, I utilize these and you might have seen this before in another video, but I ut utilize the actual pallets as storage. Now, a lot of our, our marquee tent material is actually kept in a sea um, can and a trailer offsite because it's so bulky. We do have a bit of it here. Um, there are some pipes, for example, tucked away nicely here. Again, utilizing the racking, utilizing the pallet right at the exit door. So we can just pull up here and pull what we need right from the racking as quick as possible. Uh, here's a little area for dollies, extra weight, weights. There's a random pipe bender. We can't put too much because the, the panels are there. Again, let's move back now. I'm not doing this too well, I don't think. It's hard to kind of imagine. Now, this place is fairly narrow. It's only 1,500 square feet. Now, guys, remember when you're getting a commercial space, if you're thinking about a getting a commercial space, uh, they'll, they'll tell you the square footage. So it's, they're going to say, you know, it's 1,500 square feet. It's 3,000 square feet. But always consider the height. Some places will be, uh, the ceiling will be quite low. We, I, I, I went, we, we toured a few areas, I toured a few places, and the ceiling was like 12 feet in some of them. And it's like, what can you do with, with 12 feet or 10 feet or whatever it is? Uh, here, the ceiling is 18 feet. So, you know, that's why we have a little bit of a mezzanine, which wasn't there before. Originally, we built that. Um, and, and you can't really do that if you, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have, uh, if you have a low ceiling. So really consider that. That's a huge consideration when you're looking for a commercial space, when you're looking for square footage. Some places have grandfathered in racking. Here in my town, racking can only be uh, 12 feet high. Unless it's grandfathered in, then it could be uh, higher. And by grandfathered in, it, it has pre-existing racking, so you can leave it there. So lots of things like that. There's a couple of washrooms here. This is kind of awkward in the sense it's just like a... Uh, jut out from the wall, but it works 
It's a little bit awkward, it works. There's another jut out right over here, which is the mechanical room, which we have some extra wall wires, some helmets, some first aid kits, some ladders. Uh, there, there are two 20 by 40s there and some white resin chairs. Uh, there's tons of stuff on the top of the mechanical room, as you can see, uh, pails, uh, there are, um, uh, 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 I'm bad with words. I'm bad, I'm bad with nouns sometimes. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, some hay bales, uh, some lights, um, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Same with up, up there. So that's still at the back. We have some patio heaters, some coolers back there, uh, some, spools we even have more spools up over here there's about five more spools up here spools stools we have our arches right here there are four arches right here so you can see one two three four and i'll give you a kind of a better look at these arches as well you can see they're kind of stacked like this off of this again utilizing the racking um there's a piece of wood that comes out and then uh, we rest all our of the four arches on that piece of wood. Now those arches are fairly popular, um, but they're nice and compact. Like really, we don't. Again, it's a, pretty much two of these per arch. Plus there's a third. Uh, there's an arch also. It's kind of sitting on top, right? Anyways, enough about the arches. There's some extra chairs. This place isn't that big, but it's affordable. At 1,500 square feet, it's quite affordable. And so what we're doing is we're just putting more bulky stuff in shipping containers because doubling the size of the space would really increase the cost. But maybe if we're extremely busy, we'll get a bigger space uh, when the lease expires. The lease is five years long, so we have about two years left. There's a little kitchen area. In behind there are some lockers. There's a big whiteboard. Uh, there are all these containers full of walls and gutters. Those are for the pop-up tents. Tons and tons of chairs all around. You can see uh, tents there, tons of tents here, more in shipping containers. That's the front there, and that's the mezzanine. Now, uh, one thing that's missing, this mezzanine is fairly new, is we need stairs. We need stairs to the mezzanine. So that, that is an extra thing we need to do. Uh, we want to have stairs up to the mezzanine. Like, it's not going to work without stairs. But let me take you up there. Right now, there's just an awkward ladder. Behind this nook is a bunch of stuff, the photo booth. Uh, oh, let me show you something cool. So at the front area here is... Uh, is basically where there's all these returns. We've discussed that briefly before, but we also have this tool bench. Okay, actually we got it from a, a surplus place of, um, when the uh, our province, or if you're in the States, like your state gets rid of stuff, uh, they put it up for auction or they sell it off. And they sell it off for quite, for good prices. And we, we bought this, I think it was like $20. It's ridiculously cheap. It's just most people don't know about these places. And actually it was used as like a medical thing back in the day. So I don't know if you can see the, let me bring, bring you closer. Uh, atriums, chest tubes, transvenous pacing equipment. So it's built quite tough. I, and again, I didn't know, I don't know if you saw that, but it, this shelf is awesome. It's built extremely tough. We have a ton of heavy items in these drawers like just full of just, you know, super heavy items. And they're super, you can almost stand on this drawer. Like it's, it's extremely heavy duty. Oh, and the nice thing is that this thing is actually on casters. So you can see it's really easy to move if we need more space, if we need to put it outside for a second because there's some, we're doing something big here. So as you can see, it just sits there, but we can easily move it around. If you're doing some work at, at the front, you move it to the front because that's where the tools are, um, all in, the, in that one place. <clears throat> Over here, we kind of missed it, is all the hardware. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, all the extra uh, feet for, for the legs, um, all sorts of, of bolts. Uh, you know, cha 
chains, uh, you know, whatever. All, all the extra hardware we need to, to repair tents, uh, to do our jobs are, are there. But anyways, the mezzanine is a work in progress. We have a little bit of racking right above there. I actually have to move that piece of wood because it's kind of covering the exit sign. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we definitely need stairs up to the mezzanine. Um, I don't really let people go up there because and it, it's right now just being used for storage. Uh, uh, let's take a look. And, and this will give us a good vantage point to kind of see the whole warehouse. Hopefully that it's not too like, that's a bit too uh, bright, huh, maybe. Anyway, uh, let me show you the, this is the mezzanine. Ah, there's quite a bit of space there. Let's see if I can get a good view. Uh, I'll come up here. And uh, yeah, it's kind of silly. Honestly, very, very silly. But, uh, okay. So we're up in the mezzanine. It's kind of dark here. Again, just being used for storage. Tons of boxes. Let's get another vantage point. You can see it's just, just tons of stuff, okay? But there's enough space here to do, to do something like, uh, and there's enough space to just walk um, like upright. So again, that height thing, and you can see it, that's kind of the, the warehouse there. Uh, very narrow, but uh, uh, if I move back, it's better with the light. But it works great for us, really, you know? Um, and uh, the office part. I'll, I'll be brief because this video is coming quite long. Now, again, getting down from here is uh, kind of silly. It's nice that I occasionally go climbing. I don't do it that often, you know, now with, with kids and stuff. It's, uh, it's not much time for that kind of stuff, but. Uh, okay. And uh, this is the front, kind of like a reception area. It's kind of a mess right now. Most people will just pay online and go right to the back. But uh, yeah, you've seen this before. We make videos here. Front door is right here. And then behind me is the little bit of reception area. Uh, we made that little door. It's kind of nice, you know, kind of gives it a bit of a uh, rustic touch. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that <laughs> that warehouse tour. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a commercial space, maybe that gave you a little bit, some ideas. Otherwise, good luck with your business. Take it easy. Hopefully it wasn't too bouncy. You know, I'm holding this uh, self-made camera or phone mount. See you later. Work hard and take it easy.